Oh, no. Oh. Oh, this is so awesome. Oh, I got to get into one of the lifeboats if I want to survive here. Oh. Hello, YouTube. Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks. And yes, folks, we're back once again. And today, we're going to be checking out some really, really awesome creations. Now, we're going to start off here with something that I've talked about uh, in Stormworks. I've always wanted to find a creation or a big boat that can basically sink itself. And we're going to do that here today. We're going to experience what it's like to be on a boat as it sinks. I'm actually kind of afraid this is going to be awesome. But anyways, all the creations will be linked down in the description. So if you want to play with anything that you see in this episode here today, you can do that. Go show some of the workshop creators some love. And if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel and let's do this. All right, so the first creation we're going to check out here, it's called the City of Kalalis. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. So this is a, uh, a very, actually, this is a really nice looking craft. Is that lifeboats on the side of it? Oh, I think it is. That's cool. So this one has, I think it's called the Titanic mode, which it takes like three to four minutes to sink, but you can actually fill this thing up and I guess send it to the bottom of the ocean. So this is going to be exciting. Let's go ahead and spawn this out. Here we go. Oh, that is pretty sweet looking. Uh, by the way, I'm actually on my new computer here. Uh, it's first time doing this with Stormworks. I must say, this is running pretty good. Normally with big creations like this, it would be lagging a bit, but feels pretty awesome so far. So anyways, what the heck is that down there? There's an, oh, is that an elevator? Wait, is this how we flood it? Or is this, no, this is an elevator, isn't it? Hold on, that is really cool. <laughs> I don't know how practical that is. Uh, is this what that is? Uh, up, down, um, okay. Oh, it is! That is a full-blown elevator. All right, I was just gonna take the ladder, but I will much rather take that. No, it actually opens up for me. That's cool. All right, so let's see here. Oh, boy. Oh, buddy. So I'm a little confused. Like, to me, this is a big container or cargo ship. I know this opens up here, which there's a hatch. What is down here? Is this just for storage or is this the flooding compartments? No, this is vehicle storage. Yeah, you can see all the connectors down here. All right, that's kind of cool. All right, climb back up through here. So I think we can actually open these up. And I'm assuming what happens, uh, you would sit there and probably use this, which this is like a overhead crane. Uh, you can see the rail system on the side, so it'll slide up and down. And I'm assuming you can take boats in and out. I don't know really what would fit in here. It's not that big of a compartment, but I have to read more about it. So yeah, you can see the, uh, the winch in the front. Here's the overhead crane system. How do we work this? Is this up here? or Let's see. Oh, this is just the anchors. Okay. Hmm, I'm assuming everything is actually uh, in the main deck here, so we'll have to get into that. Uh, over here, it looks like we have some winches for the side, uh, possibly for uh, more lifeboats, which it has a couple right here. Uh, not saying that we're going to need the lifeboats today, but I think we're probably going to need these. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and check out the inside real quick. Oh, oh, it's a push button, okay. Oh, wait, oh, I guess I gotta hold it and get in. There we go. Huh. All right, do we have any lights or anything in here? Oh boy, let's see. There's another elevator. Let's go on the side here. What is this? This appears to be a washroom. Okay. And this is on. Is this the uh, possible controls or is it just a passenger seat? Uh, this looks like crew quarters. Which, by the way, there was an update that added some beds and some uh, different seats. Now, as far as the beds go, you still can't sleep in them while you're on a boat. Which I'm really hoping that'll become a feature at some point. Alright, so I think this is... Yeah, this is the main deck here. Alright, so what do we have? This is the magnets. Is this for the big crane? Hold on, let's... Uh, oh, whoa! That lit up. Okay, that's a light for the crane. Uh, it's more lights for the side. This is a magnet. A toggle magnet. What magnet are we toggling here? You see? Oh, it's up there. You can see it on the crane up at the top of the screen. You can kind of see it lighten up. So, yeah, this is definitely, this is the controls for it. Dude, that is cool. That is so cool that whole arm is moving. Wow. 
Yeah, this is actually a, a really, really useful creation, too. Not only does it sink, <laughs> you can actually use it to store vehicles. Okay, over here, this looks like the bays, so we can actually... Oh, yeah, you can open up all the bays. This isn't Titanic mode, I don't believe, but... Yeah, you can see all the way down there. That is cool! Wow, okay, let's go and close those up here. What is this? No, please. I beg you to stop. I have a feeling that's the Titanic button. All right, we'll be using that here in a second. What is over here? Warning. What kind of warnings are these? I don't know. This looks like a map of some sorts. I don't know. All right, let's uh, let's unlock this and let's get these engines cranked and let's get up out to sea real quick. There we go. Turn on the bridge lights here. There's your slips. Uh, engine power. Uh, I guess we want to be... I can go into manual control, or can I just do forward? Oh, you can just do it like this. Whoa! This thing really takes off. Hold on, I need to get in here and uh, kind of direct the ship. Oh, that is cool looking. Oh, that is a... That's a beautiful ship. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, why is this... Hold on, is there... Something's wrong with the weight. Maybe that crane needs to be a little forward. We're, uh, we're leaning a little bit in the back right now. There we go. Moving the crane forward to the front. Yeah, it's definitely a, a bit of a heavy crane. Uh, did that help? Oh, yeah, it looks uh, a bit better. Still uh, leans back a bit, so let's go ahead and go. Oh, my. This thing's got, like, the power of a speedboat, it feels like. That's absolutely crazy. All right. Let's go for a little bit of a cruise here. So I'm looking for uh, our lifeboat points. We've got one in the back. You got one on each side. Uh, I don't know what that is. Is that like another anchor? Uh, I know there's an anchor in the front. Yeah, there's an actual anchor up here. Huh, I'm not really sure. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to get ourselves in a decent spot here. And we're going to crank it up to 11. Now, it does feel like this is a bit of a top-heavy boat. Like, it is out of the water quite a ways. And I'm assuming uh, that's just because of how maybe hollow and how empty the front of the boat is. Uh, having the crane up towards the front has actually helped quite a bit, though. Now, question is, when it goes into Titanic mode, where is that? Where is it going to open up? I'm assuming somewhere's down here. I don't know. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be interested to see where that, uh, where that goes. Alright. As you can see here, the seas are getting a little bit rough. Oh, yeah, this boat's got a lot of motion going on right now. Is there a, uh, a maybe a deck I can get out onto? I don't think so. Let's go. Uh oh. Oh, geez, this boat is leaning. That is crazy looking, huh? Let's get down to the, uh, to the main deck real quick and observe what's going on outside. Ooh, I don't think I've ever felt a boat lean like this. Oh, geez. Oh, huh? I can't even walk out. All right, there we go. Oh, I left that container portion open. Okay, so how do we... We just release the lifeboats? Cool. Oh, wow. Hold on, let's go to the back here. Dude, we are moving. Like, look how far over... Uh, actually, are we capsizing? No, this thing is leaning. Did they change something with the, uh, the waves in the latest update? This feels really, really aggressive. Like, way more aggressive than I'm used to. Yeah, look at the lean here on the boat. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is like my favorite thing about Stormworks. It's nothing like getting in a big old boat and just going out in the uh, in like hurricane-like conditions. Uh, it's even worse the whole fact that it's almost night. Ah, uh, this is cool. That looks epic. All right, this is awfully intense right now. Uh, we're hitting some massive waves. So uh, I'm hearing reports that maybe possibly our ship is going to take on some water here so are we actually moving are we going forward or hold on let's let's back off the engine power actually you know what this is a sinking ship let's turn this off we are going to be dead in the water here oh boy okay so let's go ahead assuming this is titanic mode here we go right did that did that did that do it? Oh, this is Titanic mode. Uh, wait, what's that? No! Titanic mode! Click! Alright. Titanic mode is engaged. Now, question is, where is it letting in water? Oh, jeez. 
All right, hold on. Let's see if we can get in the pilot seat and see. Uh, I'm not seeing openings. Where is it? Did it just stop pumping water out? Did the? It's possible the pump stopped working. All right, so this thing is supposed to take about three to four minutes to sink. So I don't have any uh, alarm system, do I? No. All right, we're coming down to check down the uh, the deck here. Pretty sure we are in full-on call in the Coast Guard mode. Uh, let's see if we see some water. Well, you know, it doesn't appear that we're really uh, taking on water, at least not down here. Uh, wait. A little bit of water passed in. I think that's coming from the outside, though. I don't know. We feel okay right now, but it still says that it's going to take three to four minutes for it to start sinking. So uh, we'll just give it a second here and see what happens. You know, definitely the water line's looking a bit lower. You can see it. We were poking out of the water quite a bit from here. And I don't know if that's the effect of the waves. No, yeah, waves are crashing over the top now. It's weird. Oh, it is filling. Oh, no, we are going down. Hold on. Let's uh, abandon ship here. Let's try to get down before the uh, actual portion of this fills up. I do not want to be inside of this when it fills. So let's get down to the bottom floor here. I uh, don't see any water in the cabin yet. Let's go ahead. Oh Yeah, it's uh those are filling up now. Oh that water's coming over the top. Okay, so Let's go ahead and deploy one of the lifeboats just to see how this works uh, We are going down boom. Oh That lifeboat just got swallowed Am I supposed to sit in that? Uh, oh, this is crazy looking Oh, uh, you can see the water coming over the- Oh, no! We're gonna get swept overboard here! Alright, uh, hold on. Let's check the crew quarters. Are these filling yet? No, there's really no water getting into this yet. It's pretty sealed. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and release this lifeboat. There we go. That one's released. Cool. Oh, this is cool looking. Alright, let's get to the back of the boat. We've got our lifeboat that we're gonna take back. Wait a minute. How does this work? Uh, hold on. Am I supposed to am I supposed to just release it from here? Oh, let's get release the lifeboat. Oh geez, we're sinking. Alright, we are definitely going under right now. Oh no. Oh! Oh, this is so awesome! Oh, I gotta get into one of the lifeboats if I want to survive here. Oh! Oh! Oh, the whole thing's going down. Alright, I need to get to a deck here. Oh, this is scary. I would hate this in real life. Oh, there is a deck up here. On, on. Oh, we're about to be a top. Oh, we're on top of this. Oh, oh, the nose is pointing down. Oh, this is the coolest thing somebody's ever created here in Stormworks. Hold on, let's get up on the back of the boat. Okay, try to clear ourselves from it. It's going to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, that is amazing. All right, let's try to get to one of the lifeboats here. Wait, are all the lifeboats upside down? What am I supposed to do here? I, I don't understand. <laughs> Hold on, is there a seat I can jump into? No, the lifeboats are under. Oh, look at it going to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, I tell you what, this would be the worst feeling ever. Yeah, we are pretty much in the middle of the ocean. It's a hurricane-like conditions. And all the lifeboats have tipped over. And our uh, actual boat is sinking to the bottom of the sea right now. Wow, that is dramatic. That is awesome. Well, I would say let's attempt a rescue, but, uh, yeah, there's not much we can do here. All right, we're going to let the storm subside here. Let's go ahead and kill the rain and the wind. There we go. Let the color come back. I still like the gray effect whenever it, uh, whenever the storms approach. Like, it wasn't even night there. It wasn't all the way night. Oh, yeah, that thing is at the bottom of the ocean. I got an idea. This kind of leads us into our next creation. I've got a submarine that I would like to actually... I don't know if you can actually see outside of it, but I want to travel down and uh, come up to this sunken boat here. I think that would be pretty awesome. That's so cool how the lights are still on under there. All right, so we're going to be checking out a submarine here called the Virginia Class Submarine Mark 1. It does have a torpedo system. I heard that it's a little... Uh, it can be hard to load and launch. We might try to mess with that. But one of my main goals is I want to go ahead and try to get out to the uh, the shipwreck. So let's go ahead and spawn this in here. There we go. Yeah, normally I, I wouldn't be able to spawn in this many large creations, so this is uh, pretty awesome. Uh, is this backwards? 
It is, isn't it? Huh, hopefully I can back out of this. You know, we've checked out some, like, personal subs. I don't know if we've ever done, like, a really big sub. So let's climb up into here. All right, I'm seeing what appears to be an opening hatch here. Let's go ahead and get into here. All right, uh, I'm pretty sure I want to close that. Is there a, a button here? Oh, it's dark in here, hold on. Rotate, loading door. There we go. All right, so we got that. Up, down, tube magnet, side magnet. I don't know what I'm doing here. Tube. Wait, this would be the torpedo system? I know there's got to be a light in here. Hold on, let's see. Up, down, that's an elevator. Uh, let's go and open this. This would be the front of the ship. Okay, I don't see anything there. I'm a little confused as to how this works. Let's toggle this button. Uh, looking for some sort of light or something. It is awfully dark in here. Uh, I have a flashlight, don't I? Hold on, let's uh, let's hit that real quick. Uh, let's see, full disposal. I don't understand what a lot of this is. Run incinerator. Yeah, there's lights in this ship. Uh, right now we're going around with just our flashlight until I can find the actual main lights. Uh, what is this? Is this the? Are those the engines? I'm uh, I'm a bit confused right now. We're gonna figure this out though. Uh, hold on. Let's go. What is this? Ah, here we go. This uh, this might help us out a bit. All right. So let's go ahead and close that. Okay. I can't toggle that back. Uh, oh, this has got a full-blown living quarters and stuff. It looks like a kitchen. Uh, actually, it's like a little buffet. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. I'm still wandering around aimlessly. That looks like a bedroom. Bedrooms. Uh, and more bedrooms. Okay, so we're in the crew quarters. I know that. I have no clue. Like, my sense of direction in this thing, I have no clue where we are. Uh, I know we're on the second deck. Is there a third? Is this where the operations... Uh, no, this isn't pilot seats. Oh, that's a pilot seat. But we can go even further up. Hold on, let's go up again. All right, where are we now? I'm so confused. Uh, communication mast. Okay, let's keep going. Ah, there's the top of it. Okay, so where exactly are we operating this from is the question. All right, here we are. Wow. We, uh, wait, what? Is it up here? Is this where we pilot this? No. That wouldn't seem right, would it? Hold on. Alright, so I figured out how to fire it up. Uh, you actually have to set in the seat up here, uh, where my guy's naked, and you have to hit the one key. Alright, so this is controlled by the arrow keys. Okay, that's uh, interesting. I, I like, kind of find it funny how the guy's... He's just kind of hanging out the top here, so... I don't know how this is going to work. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, uncharted territory for me. All right, let's go ahead. Question is, can I actually dive down? Is that a thing? I don't know. I don't know if this thing just sets above the uh, surface or if it dives. Uh, it seems like it's one to go down a bit. All right, so where is our our uh, our sunken boat? Is down here. Let's go ahead and turn this over to that way. I tell you what, this is certainly really cool. Now, I know this thing's got to go underwater because you can see the, uh, it's got like top rudders here that would help control you once you're down. And you got the bottom ones. Oh, we're going to come really close to that rock. There we go. <laughs> ah, this is cool. Now, question is, there's not really a control scheme on it, so I'm trying to figure out how to, uh, how to make it dive. There's bound to be either a hotkey or maybe I could do it. Actually, you know, it seems like it leans a little bit whenever I hit the W key. I don't wonder if that's how to make this thing dive. We're going to try to figure this out, folks, because this could be epic. I just don't, uh, my guy standing up there makes me a bit nervous. But other than that, there's going to got to be a way to make this thing go down. All right, so as far as I can tell, I can manipulate this thing with the W and the S key. It's not really an aggressive dive, but it's slowly going under. So if I keep holding it, will it actually eventually make it all the way under, or is there another trick here that I have to do? Now, we were up by a, uh, a little door, which is at the top of this thing. That's actually a loading door, which I'm assuming you would load like the torpedoes and stuff uh, through there. So our top hatch, that's where, uh, of course, the pilot seat is. 
And I'm curious as to how to make this work all the way. Oh, we're heading into a uh, island here. Uh, where's our boat? We're on the right path. Let's just go around the island, though. It's gonna take us a second to get out to the uh, wreckage. Whoa! Dude, wait, what? Uh, that really just did what I thought it did. So our sunken boat just shot up out of the water. So apparently, when you leave the area out, yeah, look, you can see the uh, the actual lifeboats are on it again. We had detached those. You know, I didn't know that was a thing in the game. I figured it would stay at the bottom of the ocean, but when we left the area, I guess it despawned it and respawned it when we came back. That's a little disappointing. I was hoping to actually go underwater and spot it from there. It's almost like we have to sink it again. Oh, boy. All right, well, we're here, so... Wow. Now, the question is, how do I get this thing to dive? I've been trying to figure this out for the past little bit. Got a couple things, like I can hold the W key, which it seems like it sinks it just a bit, but it's not going all the way, so right, let's just hold the W key here. Uh, no, it's not, it's not diving this way, okay. Yeah, folks, I think I'm actually just not good with working with submarines. I can't get this thing to go down for the life of me. Uh, I don't see any controls for it, uh, and there's nothing mapped. Like, as far as an actual HUD or anything, so I can't really tell. Let's just hit the tube and the tube magnet. What does that do? And I always hit all the things. I think that's just the magnet for the loader. Wait. Wait a minute. Uh, this thing's filling up with water. Is this the, is this the go down? Oh no, I don't want to be in this while this goes down. Oh dear. Oh dear. Han, we gotta get out of this. We gotta get out of the sub. Okay, so something's not sealed all the way because I'm letting in water. That's not good. It's not the way I want this to go down, folks. Hold on, let's get up to the top. Nope, that was open. Uh, <laughs> uh what are we doing? Do we do we fill something up here on oh, jumping into the pilot seat? Uh, it's definitely sinking now. Oh, it's gone down a little bit. I don't know what I did though. What did I do to actually uh? Actually make that happen. I got an idea. Hold on. Let's go ahead. We'll make it go down. Uh, let's open that. Oh. See, look. It's filled up with water somewhat. Hold on. Let's get under. Whoa. This is, this is dangerous. This is not good at all. Oh. That's what happened. The torpedo bay opened up. Oh. That's where you put the torpedo and it shoots it out. Oh. That's cool. I almost want to spawn in a torpedo, but I heard that it's a real pain to actually load the thing up. That's why this thing started to sink. Yeah, it's not the whole fact that we're actually making it do that. This is still scary, though, because the water's rushing back. Oh, boy. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. Too bad we couldn't make it go down even further, though. And uh, like I said, there's no real instructions on the, uh, the workshop about it. And there's no uh, HUD that pops up to kind of give you, like, the key bindings. Uh, it took me a little bit to figure this out, so uh, if anybody knows or uh, has a sub, I would like an actual sub. I don't know how good they are right now as far as, I want something that we can completely take underwater. Because right now, we're not, uh, yeah, we're not really that far. Still a pretty cool creation, though. Alright, so for our next creation, this was actually created by a Discord member. Uh, it was supposed to be a, a boat at first, and then I think he gave up on the boat part and made it into a helicopter. So yeah, this is by Mr. Blob. This is a, uh, a hamburger. So this fits the channel perfectly. Let's go ahead, let's hop into this real quick. This is crazy. Uh, how do we, uh, let's see. I'm assuming we want to close that door. Is there a, or is, wait, there it is. Okay, hold on, let's close the door. Or the sesame seed bun. Oh, that's kind of crazy. We're inside a burger copter. All right, let's go ahead and jump into here. So it's got your y'all throttle, roll pitch, auto hover, landing gear. Okay, I got this. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on auto hover. I love me some auto hover. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Fire it up. Uh, oh, that is crazy. That's, uh, is that other side supposed to be spinning? Uh, I'm assuming not. Uh, oh, on. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're kidding me, right? We have a burger helicopter. What the heck? This 
is awesome. It's got a magnet on it, too. Does it have a winch? Oh, it's got a little place if we want to land it on a ship. So, yeah, we could actually use this as a kind of a rescue helicopter. Is there any other seats in here? No, somebody would have to just stand in here. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Uh, let's try, uh, let's fly it around a bit. You know, I know it's uh, part of it's the auto hover, but surprisingly, this is uh, pretty stable. I wouldn't say a, uh, a hamburger is the most aerodynamic thing ever, so for this to be uh, actually hovering, going up, not tipping over, that's a, I want to say it's a miracle. See my little guy in there? Oh boy. This would be a heck of a craft to have in a single player. All right, so we are out looking for our first ship, which is uh, obviously not underwater anymore, but uh, we're going to attempt to land on it with the burger craft here. And then we'll wrap this up. Still searching for it. Oh, I think it's about to load in. There it is. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm a pretty good pilot when it comes to helicopters, but I'm not sure about the burger copter here. Can we land it on top of this? Oh boy. You know, if this thing had big enough doors, the uh, loading bay, I would almost argue you could land this in it. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, let's start to drop some altitude here. Let's go a little forward. Yeah, it's not quite as nimble as the uh, other helicopters, so you have to kind of anticipate ahead of time what you think it may or may not do. All right, there it is. Uh, we need to avoid the big crane portion of it there we go you know I could have swore this thing was underwater earlier <laughs> kind of wish it would have stayed there uh, that was pretty neat uh, let's see there we go all right we're going down oh we're near the crane gonna go to the right a bit okay uh, let's go ahead and initiate touchdown here uh, oh there we go all right let's go ahead kill the auto hover and kill the engines all right, I th think we did it. Did we actually do that, or are we leaning? On, it's gonna jump out. Oh no, this uh, the boat's leaning just a bit. It can't take all the weight. Uh, oh, there we go. That's ah, not too bad. I would say that's a successful landing. That is awesome. Yeah, this thing would almost fit, except for the blades. It would almost fit in this little bay here. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. All the creations will be linked down below. I highly suggest checking this thing out, especially if you want that feeling of going down underwater, because that was absolutely amazing. It's probably one of the craziest things we've done on Stormworks so far. So yeah, hopefully we see more creations like this appear on Stormworks, or at least make it where we can uh, sink the big boats, because that was awesome. I'd love to do that again. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. If you have any suggestions for the Stormworks series, uh, comment below. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, if you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time on Stormworks. Thank you.